Hi everyone, it's great to see you and if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to do something a little bit different and this is the beauty of Assetto Corsa. There are so many mods out there, there are so many fantastic cars you can drive of any era. I thought today I'd showcase a fantastic mod called Nice Cup of Tea in this great video showing these amazing 1923 cars. As ever guys, if you do like the video, it would be great if you click on that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up as well, it really helps me grow the channel. And if you're new here, it'd be great to have you on board. Do remember guys as well as ever, all the links to the mods in this video are in the description below. Okay, let's jump straight in. The first model by Nice Cup of Tea is the Voicing C6. Now this was built by Gabriel Voicing for the 1923 Grand Prix. And it was actually designed by the same designer that designed the Citroen 2CV and DS, so very famous. This car claimed to be the first true monocoque chassis car. The body's light aluminium sheeting was braced by an ash wood frame with sturdier metal brackets bolted in to load bearing points. The odd pow unpowered propeller at the front of the car actually drove the water pump by the air rushing past it so a very odd design so it doesn't make the car go any faster in fact it was actually quite unreliable and the thing with this car as well it is quite angular it's not very aerodynamic and also it was quite underpowered to some of the other cars on the day the detail on this car as well as all the other cars in this mod collection are fantastic so let's take it for a drive the track I'm driving all these cars on today is the Dutchland ring now I actually featured this in one of my other videos uh, a few months ago actually I think it was the top 10 tracks or the top 10 best ranked mods at the moment so this is a fantastic track and I will go through some more details about this track later on in the video as you can see this car though looks incredible amazing in VR I've not done any VR gameplay today but trust me it looks fantastic in VR very unusual shape it actually feels quite serene driving this car it only has 78 brake horsepower but nearly 200 newton meters of torque and it weighs just 660 kilograms so this is a veritable death machine because it's probably doing just over 100 miles an hour here on this long banked corner but just there is no protection if you are in this car that steering wheel looks very hard too so very dangerous and the racers that were racing around this time they were very very brave people very passionate about what they were doing. I also think on this gameplay you'll absolutely agree that Assetto Corsa is looking beautiful. This track, these cars all done really well and remember guys I'm running a number of graphic mods on here so if you do want to know how to install those check on my channel there's lots of tutorials and guides on how you can do that if you are new here. Next up then is the Bugatti Type 32 and I think out of all three of the cars that I'm going to show you today this is my favourite. Look how beautiful this car looks. Now I will say straight away that looking inside the car you can see that you are actually sat right next to the engine. No firewall so there will be oil spluttering around the carburettors there are pulling air straight from underneath your legs and your feet very dangerous backfires all the time there's no air filters on these cars and you'll see when it's driving that there's all sorts of splutters that are coming into the cockpit now this car had 100 brake horsepower again just under 200 newton meters torque 761 kilograms do about 120 miles an hour really dangerous and again if you look at the protection on the driver on this car you would be absolutely petrified also if you're looking inside the car here you can see that with those red wires are going um, on the distributor right in front of you that is all high tension electricity running through there you can see the backfires incredible modeling as well so this is a fantastic addition to your Assetto Corsa collection now a little bit more about the car you can see it's got quite a unique shape compared to the other cars this was one of the first designs that started to look at aerodynamics now it's no surprise that this car generated lift because if you look at the side of the car the profile it is shaped like a wing so when it got to high speeds it did actually lift off the ground a little bit not great handling although it was a very short wheelbase car as well it must have been incredibly fun to drive but incredibly dangerous again Up next, I'm going to show you the Sunbeam Grand Prix 1923. 
fantastic car and again the modeling on this I've got to really give it out to the modder nice cup of tea absolutely fantastic and I hope this showcase does your cars justice so much work gone into these models so this is a very famous car because this was the first British driver in a British car to win a Grand Prix Sunbeam also remained Britain's only Grand Prix winning team until 1957 so a very famous car Spec wise this car had 108 brake horsepower, 174 newton meters of torque, weighed just over 670 kilograms and it had a top speed of around 110 to 120 miles an hour. Again with this fantastic modeling you can see just how exposed the driver was to all of the elements and everything that was happening in this race car. So let me talk to you a little bit about this track that we're racing on. So I have cheated a little bit with this course because this is a kind of later course. So this was designed in the 1930s to host the 1940 Grand Prix by Nazi Germany. It was actually designed to replace the infamous Neuschleifer of the Nürburgring. And this new track was designed to have greater speeds to allow more spectators to actually attend the races. And Nazi Germany wanted like a million people to be attending races at this circuit. It did boast one of the fastest corners in Grand Prix racing at the time and it was about 10 kilometers long. However, it was never properly raced on because in 1940 with the outbreak of war, it was basically mothballed and then after the war it was turned into public roads. So a little bit of a history lesson there on this Dutch Lang Ring, a fantastic track and a set of Corsa. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Another big shout out for Nice Cup of D. Do check out his mods on Race Department and also Fat Alfie for this fantastic track that we're racing on here. And again, the link will be in the description below. As ever, if you do like the channel and you like the videos, guys, giving me a like and clicking on that subscribe button really helps me to grow the channel. Thanks again for spending your time watching this video, guys. See you again soon.